What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Kev the Coach Experience. This is your host, Kev the Coach. I coach driven nice guys through breakups. I help you discover your truths and your purpose, understand women relations, and build confidence in your mission. And if you haven't seen this page before, uh, welcome. Um, I'm doing it on a podcast too, um, as well as the videos. We got the video going. Um, and I'm here to help you out. Um, and today we're going to talk about the maturation process of becoming a man, um, becoming your in, own independent person, um, and being able to make decisions um, independently without leaning on everyone else, right? And that's a big thing. Um, but before we get into it, please take the time to share with someone. If it's your first time, I expect you you know, to do that. Maybe check, out, check it out for a little bit. Let me know what you think of my vibe, my energy. But if you do like it, please like, share it, um, you know, share the love with people and subscribe, leave a review. Let me know what you think. Um, five stars is appreciated as always. Um, but with that, let's jump into it. Um, so we're talking about the maturation process of becoming a man, right? Um, and this is something I used to do all the time is I used to ask people for advice all the time. I used to tell people about um, things that they probably shouldn't know about. And one thing, so this is one thing you want to pay attention to about yourself. When it comes to relationships and your dating life, are you constantly seeking outwardly, you know, for other people's advice? Or do you have like this trusted intuition with yourself? You know what I mean? Um, Because even if you don't have that, um, here's a little newsflash for you. Most people do not understand women in relationships. Not, not your girlfriends even. They especially don't know what makes them attracted to men and what works. And most people don't get it. Why do you think, you know, the divorce rate is what it is? So understand that point that there's really not a lot of people who get it, you know, who are having this like, let's call it like this, this really is upper, launch, upper enchilon of like 3% of people that, you know, having really amazing relationships. And even then, we don't really know, right? Because it's all social media. It's all crap. You don't know anyone's relationship. They don't know yours like you do with the person you're in it with. So the advice and the point of this this episode and this, this video is to really be more conscious and aware of who you're sharing your information with. And is it helping? You know what I mean? Like if you're asking like girlfriends because you think like, well, she's a girl, she probably knows. I just want to, you know, really check your check you on that because <laughs> I mean, really look back at the times you've asked for advice or you've talked to someone, was it really that helpful? I'm not saying you shouldn't vent to a trusted support group about the issues in your life. And of course, even then you want to be a little cautious about venting too much, but really think like, you know, who has it been very beneficial to ask for people's advice? You know, they, they, most people just haven't had success in their own relationships. So, you know, at least the success that you're looking for. And that's what you kind of want to measure. Is you want to look at people's relationships and we shouldn't really be, you know, judging and comparing at all. But if you're really going to ask someone advice, you want to look at their relationship. Do you look at their relationship and you hold it to a standard in which you want? Then in that case, sure, maybe you talk to a guy who who seems to do pretty well with women. He, he you know, he makes pe other women feel good. He seems to be successful in group settings with other women. Um, and then maybe those are scenarios we want to ask for advice. But more often than not, um, you want to lean on yourself as your own person, your own support group. And because the more you lean on external people for your advice and to, to, to kind of tell you what you should be doing and, and how you should be going about it, the harder it's going to be to ever know what you truly want to do, right? With your situation. What's, what is your opinion? You get so far away from what you think about things that you're just completely off the grid on what you want to do. So... Take this video and this this podcast episode as a reminder to check yourself um, at the door. You know, make sure you're not asking people for like advice constantly. Um, obviously, you should have a trusted support system, and you should have maybe a few people. And, and even then, we know like. 
good friends, especially the older you get, the good friends are hard to come by, like really, really good, like close best friends that, you know, really stand by you, support you and um, are trying to help you and they want to see you win. You know, the older you get, the, the more you realize it. So whatever age you are, when you view this, um, especially you younger guys really think, you know, is it helpful for me when I ask for advice from my girlfriend, my guy friends, like, you know, if you're, if you're even seeing this video, I hope you take the opportunity to look at more of my stuff, more of my videos, look at my other podcast episodes, and maybe I can be the person that shows you the way because that, that's how I got into it, right? I found a coach and I found someone who understood things and he was saying things that most people didn't understand and most people didn't agree with. And I was like, this is different. And it, it was an aha moment for me, you know, and, and I, I, that was my person. I was like, I'm going to accept ex advice and coaching advice from this person. And most other people, I'm, I don't, I don't believe you because I mean, I just, I don't see you having the success that I want. Um, and I see, see too many people having issues in their relationships and in their dating lives that that's just not, why would you take advice from someone who's not representing a lifestyle that you want? So look at that. I mean, obviously we're all on our own journeys. Um, you can get advice from someone who's a single bachelor or similar to where I'm in my present position. It doesn't mean I'm not... <clears throat> striving for an amazing relationship in the future and recommending that for, for people who want it as well. So, you know, take a moment to really understand, okay, have I been you know, leaning on people and, and adding too much noise to your life? And maybe you're wondering, like, why does it really matter? Why can't I ask for advice? Well, I've already explained that, but maybe you're wondering, like, how do I get to a place then where I understand what I want to do without asking for that advice. Maybe that's what you're, what you're wondering. And so there's a, the first piece of advice is, yeah, find a coach or someone in the space of what you're trying to get better at, what they're doing. Listen to their advice and listen to how they approach topics and, and see if it vibes with you. Um, but then from there, I, I would really encourage you to get into spirituality, you know, practice meditation, start to just learn concepts of mindfulness and, and just work on it and, and become a more conscious person. Because that is going to that is the only way that's going to allow you to access your own internal intuition for life. It's going to help you understand who is for you, who is not. You know what type of girl or what type of woman you want to attract in your life. These this is what that will help you. What what kind of career you want. You know ultimately, when you can have a deeper access to your own desires, your own intuition. It's going to help you immensely. So really, we're talking about quiet the mind. Just start with that. Quiet the mind. Quiet all of the noise of the people you've been asking for advice, the family members. You know, it, like I said, remember, if you, especially when you're young and you're going through problems and, and stuff, you, you do need support. So venting is still out there. But I'm saying when, you come, when it comes to advice, you know, <clears throat> find someone who's in a space where they're doing something or achieving something that you want in your life. And I know it's tough. Like it's tough. Um, I hope I can be that person for you. Um, but I know it can be hard to find sort of someone that aligns with you and, and shares similar goals and values. Um, so yeah, the purpose of this video, you know, it's quite simple and it's quite short. Um, but I've just, I've noticed talking to people and, and clients, it's a, it's a big thing in the world where people want to give advice on relationships. They want to they want to, yeah, they want to give advice. They want to seem like someone who gets it. And, and sometimes we feel like we get it until we run into the next problem. And that's the issue. Right? It's like a lot of people get it until they are in a relationship. And then that, that, that's the next obstacle It's like, okay, how do I thrive inside of a relationship? You know, I was good at dating. I was good at picking up chicks. How do I now take it to the next level and thrive with a woman in my life and in a relationship? Um, <clears throat> so find the inner peace, block out the noise for a second, you know, like really think, you know, I've been asking for advice from people who just, they're complicating things for me. It's not their fault. I've, you know, you've been inviting them into that life. You know, I don't tell anyone about my dating life about, I mean, sure. Like I said, my, my very, very small group, you know, we'll talk, we'll have fun about it and just joke around. But most people, like, I don't invite them to, <laughs> to just throw advice at me because, not because I don't respect them or love them. I don't want to complicate my understanding of what's going on. 
um, which I believe I've built it to be very a very good understanding <laughs> of what I want, what I'm looking for, um, and what is sometimes more importantly. So um, let me know if you have any questions or comments on this topic about like how to go about this because you know, like I said, it's this maturation process of beginning to become your own self reliant man who doesn't lean on other people for advice um, in dating relationships. And that's super important because, you know, at the end of the day, you, you want to be, I mean, I think we all as men, we want to become a man who is guided by his own intuition. He doesn't need those outside voices. It doesn't mean you don't have support. Support is different. Support is different. Um, but when you're, when you're blocking out those clear waves of intuition into the world, that's when we get it gets a little problematic. So let me know if you have any questions or comments on this topic. I know it's just kind of a short piece of advice and almost a reminder today. Um, that's not super crazy, not not super dramatic of a of advice today. Uh, but I wanted to get on here, and I, I know it's a topic. Like I said, clients they met me because <clears throat> what I do, guys, is I'm trying to help you understand what you want to do, not what I want you to do. And I think there's a huge problem in the world where a lot of coaches, a lot of people give advice. They want you, they're giving you advice that like they want you to do things the way that I do it. And maybe you see what I what I do and how I go about my life. Maybe you do want to do my way and then I'll help you do that. But really, my purpose is to help you get to the life that you are enjoying and, and you're believing in your path. Because ultimately, you have to believe in your path and you have to believe that you're with the right person. You have to want to go down that path from the beginning, right? Like for an example, like <clears throat> if a client comes to me, he wants to get back together with his ex, you know, I can tell him that maybe this isn't a good idea, but maybe he just needs to experience this, this, he needs to experience the experience before he can be like, okay, I see what you're saying now, coach. Like now that I have her back in my life, I'm, I'm realizing maybe she's not right for me. This is obviously a very just, this is an example, no specifics here, but it has happened before. Um, and then you can experience for yourself whether that was the right move or and maybe maybe it's a beautiful thing. Maybe you're supposed to be back with your ex and, and the life is aligned again and this is your process, this is your journey. Um, so, but then, like, like I said, this, this has to come for you and not from me telling you what to do. That's not how coaching works, in my opinion. I don't think it works that well. It's a spiritual approach to coaching. Um, I believe. So once again, I know I'm going in circles and circles, but I like to just talk off the cusp and see what comes up intuitively for you guys um, in terms of advice. So questions, comments, leave them below. And, and if it's a good, if it's a good question, I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll probably put it on a video and, and answer it. So let me know, <clears throat> you know, follow me on Instagram. I, I, I tweet a little bit too. Got some good tweets. Um, it's Kev underscore the coach on Instagram. And again, this is an episode of Kev the Coach Experience, you know, streaming basically everywhere. So go check it out. Um, and if you'd like to talk with me personally, because you've got some issues in relationship dating or, you, you know, break up or you want to figure out kind of what is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? You know, you can send me an email or direct message me superior man. And we can talk very soon. So I love y'all. Um, hope you're all doing really amazing right now. And hopefully we can talk soon. Bye bye.